On the roads, this could be one of the worst pothole seasons ever. Crews across the Twin Cities are trying to keep up using two kinds of mixes to patch streets. So what is the difference between a cold and hot mix? And when could we see our roads improve? Good question. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell learned, the process is not a smooth ride. I want them to fix the bloody road. We hear you. My truck was bouncing, bouncing. And we feel it too. It's very hectic on the streets out here this spring. From slowing and swerving to slamming into potholes, this winter has dragged on, taking our roads with it. In Edina, crews are trying to keep up. It's even though it's, it's steaming right now, it's just because it's warm, because it needs to be a little bit warm. Though it looks hot, this asphalt mixture is actually called the cold mix or winter mix. What is the cold mix? Cold mix is a, it's an asphalt product that doesn't have the AC in it, doesn't have the, the asphalt cement, it doesn't harden, but it sheds water and it's pliable and it's like asphalt, so it's about our only option this time of year in Minnesota. Filling potholes right here, anywhere, yeah, is as easy as scooping it up <laughs> and dropping it down. I think that was too gentle. But this fix sometimes only lasts a few days. Very temporary. It may not stay in there. Fingers crossed we don't plow snow because that usually takes, takes it all out and throws it on the side of the road. Traffic also pushes this cold mix right out of the holes. It's just a Band-Aid. Exactly. Just a big Band-Aid. That is until the weather warms and cities can start using the hot mix. What is that temperature range that you're aiming for to be able to use the hot mix? We, we like it to be generally above freezing, you know, 40 or so, 40, 45, 50. So what's the difference? Hot mix is asphalt with a, with a uh, tar, more of a tar substance in it and that allows it to hold, to stick to the, to the ground, stick to the, the base of the road and to be more impervious to water. Cities can usually start picking up hot mix from the St. Paul plant in March, but this year they'll have to wait until April. Until then, they're relying on getting hot mix from one of the few contract vendors who have opened their plant. How are they able to get hot mix now, but St. Paul can't? We redid a holding pond at our location, and we had to have to have that recertified by the MPCA, and we're just waiting to get that done. And that needs several days above freezing before it can be recertified, but we should be ready to go by April 3rd. When it does open, there's gonna be long lines. We're gonna have to get there early. The sooner they can get hot mix, the faster they can catch up. Everybody's behind the eight ball, so we will uh, put a lot of crews out as soon as we can get a more permanent patch and try to get caught up and uh, make the road safer. Any Dyna, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The St. Paul plant provides hot mix to about 100 municipalities. Crews will be able to use that mix until it gets cold in November. Most cities encourage drivers to report potholes, and you can do that online or through 311.